Namaste. Sunday morning words. There appears to be a struggle. <clears throat> to find anything worth raising, or as the mind would say, a topic. There is no topic, you see. There is simply this dream. And you're not a dreamer, you see. There is no dreamer. There is no dreamer. You have inherited this mind that appears to take <clears throat> precedence over the body to think that you are an individual and a dream person a person that dreams a person that can make decisions a person that can be something do something your mind will never understand these words because there is only a dream, you see. There is no dreamer. Consciousness is a dream. You are part of the dream, you see. Somewhere along the line you've began to believe that you are this thing that dreams. You are the dreamer. So you invent this God to say that he is, or it is, the original dreamer, the ultimate dreamer. The God is also part of the dream, you see. Anything that actually exists in your mind, in your imagination, in <coughs> what you perceive what you actually think that you see, hear, smell, touch, feel, is part of the dream. Any new existing thing, whether it's a planet, whether it's a newborn baby, or whether it's a new animal, a new type of bird, part of the dream. The dream is dreaming about the dream, about the dream, about the dream. Have you ever seen this, <clears throat> I don't know what it's called in science, but it's a, an air wave where poof, vibrations of sound and light come from it. See, the dream is dreaming about the dream, about the dream, about the dream, about the dream, about the dream. There is not one single dreamer that exists. It's like you, it's like when we sleep at night and we have this dream. We appear to be dreaming, you see. We appear to be the dreamer. But in the dream, the dreamer can do nothing to change the dream. And the dreamer actually, you don't even understand who you are in the dream. There's no concrete you in the dream. There is things coming and going, moving. Good dreams, bad dreams, nightmares. But you don't feel solid. You cannot find you. You cannot see yourself in the dream. 
You can imagine as if you are participating in the dream. But you are also part of the dream, you see. There is no one walking. Ing is something that is added on as a doing, an experience. Something appears to be experiencing. Ing. There is no walker. What takes place in the dream is walk. That's all that takes place is walk. All that takes place in this moment is yawn. There is no yawning because there is no yawn R. The yawn the body, the movement, the action is all part of this animation of a dream that is unfolding itself to itself. Does the dream understand what's going on? No. Does the dream really care what's going on? No. It appears as if when you experience enlightenment, you disappear. It's as if you are part of a dream and you are not dreaming anymore, you see? But you're not real anymore at the same time. You, the one you, cannot be real. Reality is another part of the dream. You see, every word, action, picture, image, sound is just part of the dream. That is why they call it Maya, the illusion. It's not an illusion, but illusion is the only thing that really comes close to it. Because we try and understand what an illusion is, an imagined thing, but it appears as if there's someone imagining what this illusion could be. The dream is maybe he not even the right word for this. Consciousness exists. Appearing as if it is something and nothing, moving and still, coming and going, black and white, man and woman. These are all words invented by this newborn dreamer. When you're a child, and you're born from the mother's womb for the first two years, you don't even know what you are. You are not a singular thing in the dream. You just live as if you are a dream. There is no knowledge, no interpretations, no trying to an analyze and judge and solve. How foolish to think that something could become a dreamer. The mind, in whatever it is, is playing games with itself, playing games with bodies, playing games with nature, playing games all day long, playing games. And this, whatever we are, takes ourselves so serious, we think we have a beginning, a middle and an end, and that we have to behave and do good and follow rules and regulations and follow the biblical commands and appear as if we are important and special and sometimes insignificant. 
that's what we have invented, created. The dream has created a dreamer. But it does not like the idea of a dreamer. Because a dreamer can interfere with the natural born living organism of just this dream. So is there a God? Yes, absolutely. But God is part of the dream of consciousness. Is there an absolute and Brahman part of the dream of consci consciousness? Lord Vishnu, Shiva, Christ, part of the dream of consciousness. But when you say part of the dream of consciousness, it appears as if consciousness is the dreamer. But consciousness in its whole is a dream. The universe is within the dream. The galaxies or whatever is perceived experienced, explored, discovered, is part of the dream. The whole foolishness is to think that is a discoverer, a dreamer, a walker, a doer, an experiencer, experiencing. All the words that this speaker has spoken up to now is about the contents of the dream. You see, even the one moment and consciousness is part of the dream. There is no external outside of the dream. The dream is all encompassing, infinite, limitless, always, forever, here, existence and no existence. Darkness and light come from the dream. We can explore and have fun exploring, have fun with partners and have fun at the carnivals, have fun. We can do all these things, but for goodness sake, stop thinking. Stop thinking, you see. The minute you stop thinking, you lose this identity of being a dreamer and you are the dream. It's the most beautiful dream that could ever be imagined beyond imagination. So enlightenment is seven years of experiencing total pristine dream. You become whole with the dream and then you go as you see. You become whole with the dream and you go. So there is only the dream becoming whole. How foolish. UG Krishnamurti says there is nothing else except this biological body. It comes, it goes, it dies. It's true, but it's within a dream. It's not even real. None of this is real. There's nothing talking. If you think it's reality, that's talking. There is talking. There is talk. You see, there is talk going on. The minute you say there's talking, it has to come from a source. That source has to be a talker. You'll never understand these words because you think that you're something separate from this world of dreams. The dream has dreamt, you see, has dreamt, the dream exists. This thing appears in a dream. This thing appears to be dreaming at night. This thing appears to dream throughout the day, but it is simply sound waves of dream within dream, within dream, within dream, within dream. Every time your pulse beats, dream. The in-between state 
between pulse beating is the total I don't know the word is being totally open to realization that's when they say you disappear where can you go it's up to the dream when you go when you go when this body disappears from the dream it cannot go anywhere it simply continues to be part of the dream this may be the worst news for many but within the dream all the things that saints and gurus speak about exist but don't take them as reality everything is coming and going the dream is a constant movement consciousness constantly pumping out stuff beautiful stuff when you realize that you're not an individual person you don't even exist you're not important but you're important to the dream you see everything outside of the dream which does not exist has to be permanent and beyond black beyond light death if you want to think about it like that but when you think about it death now becomes reality as a dream is this going to force you to stop seeking is this going to force you to stop staking life serious it doesn't matter what you do can you remember the last time that you were seriously in pain and can you go back to that moment and relive it it's gone life isn't that bad you see the present moment is when is the only here for the opportunity to dive into it and lose the dreamer lose the dreaming enlightenment bears no dream it realizes that there only is one single dream when you're a person and a body and you believe that you are individual and you think that you have this capability this function to be able to think and and believe that you are a single person when you do this then you you lose sight of the big dream you are constantly making inventing trying improving changing associating attaching desiring wanting to something that you think that you are entitled to you're only entitled to be here and there's no one that's entitling you you see the minute you follow rules and regulations and hopefully do good in this world to become and hopefully see god it will be seen in the dream and god whatever it is within this consciousness whether it's total consciousness or whether it's an individual it matters not it's not going to judge you it's not going to say anything bad about you or good about you if it does it's part of the dream you can dream about having an out of body experience you can dream about meeting angels you can dream about voices <coughs> and appear as if it's real but full blown enlightenment releases everything releases everything every mini dream any mini bubble any mini individual component atom molecule and you just become this whole infinite what mind cannot understand because mind will try and think that you become the trees you become this you become that you you know you become the dream 
consciousness. It has no substance. It has no shape. It cannot be seen. It cannot be found. The dream is a simple thing that is beyond all intellect. Every single human mind, every single alien mind, every single universal mind cannot cope with understanding what consciousness is. And even in full-blown enlightenment, when consciousness reveals itself to you, the apparent dreamer, you know. Wow. I have no idea what this is. But I'm free from this minuscule dreams, this minuscule holding on, hoping, believing, praying, it's liberation, you know. And then all of a sudden enlightenment passes in your back and you feel like you're a mini dreamer again and many dreams come and many dreams come, but they're all many, many dreams. Every breath is another dream, every word another dream, every piece of skin that grows or falls off the hand is a dream, another dream within dreams. It's Im Can you imagine the immensity if you think that you are this complete single body and you realize this scale of space and galaxies and cosmos and universes and stars and everything is pumping so fast. The dream is dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. But it's not a growing dream, you see. It's not an evolving dream. It's a recycling dream. It just simply recycles in and out, in and out, in and out. Like a big organic heart pumping in, out, in, out. These words may finish this speaker off, you know. Who is really interested in this? You know, what wants to know this? It's not bad news. It's not good news. It should be a releasal to give up and surrender and say, you know what? I'm just going to have fun. I just want to have fun. I don't want to do what everyone else does. You see? That's you or I, you see. If you believe that you are this person, then go on believing that you are this person. At some point you will have to give up this person, you see. And you become the dream. And you'll say, wow, I'm liberated. I can't remember being a person again. Consciousness is the most immaculate, well, it has to be the most immaculate, it's the only thing that exists. It's amazing, it's phenomenal, it's unbelievable, it's untarnished, it's unblemished, but it is the most complex chaos of logic and illogic contradictions, intelligence, wisdom, stupidity, foolishness, richness, poverty, wealth, health, death, life, birth, all these things flow from it as a dream. Life is the dream. There's no Life not, is not dreaming about being life. Life is a dream. Ear is a dream. A dream ear. There is no name. We give it names, you see, because we have the power, you know. We have we are human beings. We have the power to give everything names. We are an immaculate force. We go onto the battlefields with our suits of armor and our shields, and we can kill and martyr and bully. That's the ruination of the dream, you see. That's trying to take charge and enforce something about a dream. In the dream, nothing dies, you see. But in the dream, everything dies that causes harm and wants to encroach and be something special and overpower through greed, lust, all the seven deadly sins. And then it's created. Death is created within the dream because of that. Death was not a factor in this dream. 
until humans became human identity, egoistic, singular things with a mind that can destroy and a mind that can build and improve. Human beings created death, it's in the Bible, but the Bible is also part of a dream. Whatever you speak about, whatever you try and understand, whatever you try and explore and discover, whether it's in science or religion, it is all going to take place because in the mind we are creating it. And the dream loves to be a most um, offering dream. Yeah, go for it. You know, create this Vishnu, create this Brahman, create this God with a beard, create this other kind of gods. It's all fine. I can dream them up for you. But there's no I that dreams them up. The dream is responding as a dream, not a dreamer. How did this take place, you see? The mind always wants to find a, a, a reason. So, okay, where did this dream come from? If it's a dream, there has to be something dreaming it. No. I'm using the word dream. It's You cannot say it's an experience or an action. Or it came, it went, it was here before, it, it will be here after. It was born from this and that. All of that is born, this and that is born from one moment and consciousness creating itself is born, but the dream was there first. You see, the dream is all that exists, all that has ever existed and all that ever will exist. I deeply apologize if this is distressing news, or, but it's not, you see. It's a conclusion, because everything that is within the dream, listen, listen carefully, everything that is within the dream will be experienced. Enlightenment will be experienced. It is bliss, it is joy. That doesn't mean you have to stop seeking, or you have to stop being a person, or you have to stop dancing. We have created the, 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 the dancer now, you see. We are the dancer, I am the dancer. It is possible to un destroy that creation through enlightenment. But not completely, you see, because I am still a dancer. Now we've created this person thing, we are going to have to live by it. But the minute you believe your totally this person and you don't really even accept a minuscule of these words, you're going to suffer your whole life. Suffer against the going over hurdles and hurdles. More brick walls, more brick walls. No one is exempt, not just the poor, the rich. They're also part of the dream, you see. Everything is dream. Muji calls it thought. Same thing. When you say thought, you appear to think there's a thinker. You see, you appear to think that there's a thinker because you are a thinker. So there has to be another thinker. You're not a thinker. You're a thought. You're a dream. See? Everything is thought, everything is dream. Whatever word you use to describe it, the human dictionary of words has put in an ing or an er. Thought, thinking, means as a thinker, movement with consciousness. I don't know if I can speak any more words now. Maybe tomorrow. Let the dream go on, you see. 
let life go on. Within the dream, you'll never know a tree. You'll never really know a tree. You'll never really see a tree unless you have known it inside and out. Unless you have seen it inside and out. Not the interior of the trunk. The essence of the tree on the outside and the essence of the tree on the inside is the same essence that exists as this dream. You'll never know the blue sky until you've seen the blue, blue sky inside and out. You'll never know what you are because you'll never know what you are. But you'll know what you are not when you see yourself, meet yourself from the inside and the out. What improvement will you make? You lose, you see. You lose the dreamer. You lose the dreaming. Everything is just unfolding and you are part of the unfolding. You don't try and control your hands when they move. Even on the bus, people look at you and Then all of a sudden you become the controller. I have to stop, you know. They'll lock me away. I fell in love with Rumi. I fell in love with Rumi. The moment I came out of the dream. Rumi was seen inside and out when the beginning was revealed. What an essence of a being. What a true, true essence from something that flows and you cannot escape the love. But it's not just Rumi, you see. It's every single human being, every single plant, every single tree. When you don't like certain things, you're denying the whole dream. You're dreaming that that is separate from that. You're dreaming that that is more special than that. Your attention is never on the blue sky anymore. Your attention is on whole. There is no identities, no names in a dream. There is no reality in a dream. There is no organized structure in a dream. You see, think about your dream at night. Where is the organization, the structure? Where is the beginning, middle and end? We have been given all these clues, a body and a mind. Since we had an identity, because Christ in the dream came down and said, you've been given yourself an identity, so you need to be shown some things that will reflect what this uh, truth appears to be within the dream. So I'm going to allow you to dream in, a, in an order that makes no sense. So that you really understand that the dream that exists, the only dream where Christ exists and the Father exists. When this dream is the only thing worth knowing in its wholeness 
in its holiness, in its totality, in its infinite wisdom. We can speak about the dream and give it words. Now you see, we're not speaking about the dreamer. You see how easy it is to become dehypnotized again to truth, to the whole story, the whole picture, the whole of consciousness, the most beautiful essence. And everything is part of it. Everything will be experienced from it. The true God is total consciousness. It's within the dream, you see. It cannot be out with the dream. Consciousness is the dream, so if God is total consciousness, it's still within. You understand this? There is nothing out with. What a dream. No dreamer. No dreaming. Anyway. You can ignore these words. It matters not. There's no one speaking. No one talking. Nothing happening. Until you see the whole dream in its wholeness. And you can close your eyes and experience the whole universe moving within you and out with you. Will the dream ever be over? Enjoy the dream first, you see. Discover the whole dream first. And then maybe something will be revealed. Not to you, because you've gone. The dream will maybe reveal itself to whole encompassing life. Once whole encompassing life accepts the dream as one whole dream, and they are simply a part of it. They are the piece of the puzzle that dream wants. For its pleasure. I love you all immensely. And in case I'm not back, I am not back. In case the speaker, all you've heard is speak, you see. There was no speaker and no speaking. Where did the words go? 38 minutes. Can you remember the first word, the tenth word, the hundredth word? No, never took place. Never took place. Have you taken place? Are you taking place? Will you take place? What place are you? What place is the dream giving this essence that you are? in itself. Speak has revealed itself, the dream has revealed itself as speak. Something may hear, and something may ignore. And something may devour. But the something has to go. To know what these words mean. Namaste Om. Have a good Sunday. If it comes in a dream.